Hello everyone, uh, we are going to show a case of uh, gangrenous gallbladder which was operated by laparoscopic approach. The ports are similar to standard laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Two 10 mm and two 5 mm ports are inserted. And once uh, the scope is introduced, you can appreciate there is a mass in the region of a gallbladder completely covering the entire gallbladder. So if you are not able to see the gallbladder, always you trace the liver surface and from there you have to go towards the gallbladder wall. If you try to go in the mass covering the gallbladder, then there is a chance of injuring the duodenum or colon. So you have to be very careful. Always work, identify the gallbladder wall and work on the gallbladder wall. That is the trick while managing any difficult gallbladder. So at some place, you should be able to identify the gallbladder wall without any doubt. And once you are uh, uh, happy with the anatomy of the gallbladder wall, then you can proceed on the wall, gallbladder wall without deviating from the uh, wall itself. Now you can see there is a gangrene uh, at the fundus of the gallbladder. The gallbladder is carefully separated from the surrounding adjacents by using a suction cannula. In open surgery, we do some finger dissection in difficult situations. Similarly, the suction cannula can be used to dissect the tissues away from the gallbladder. So you can see are, we are able to see the entire gallbladder and if possible try to identify the rubia sulcus. You can appreciate the rubia sulcus faintly. Then in this case the callous triangle is frozen. So rather than going and trying to dissect at the callous triangle, we try to divide the gallbladder away from the uh, cystic duct infundibulum junction circumferentially. So this is like a retrograde uh, technique only. It is like modified retrograde technique. Uh, in a retrograde technique, we start our dissection from the fundus, but in modified retro retrograde technique, the fundus uh, retraction is kept uh, intact and we start dividing the gallbladder in the middle at the level of infundibulum so that we will not be losing the fundus traction which will happen in the regular retrograde technique. So here we are retaining the advantage of uh, cranial traction of the fundus at the same time we have got the advantage of retrograde approach also that is the uh, advantage of this modified retrograde technique. So go away from the dangerous area, divide the gallbladder circumferentially. This uh, ultrasonic CS are very useful in difficult cases. So once uh, uh, divided, then uh, you can have a nice suction to identify the depth of the infant amulum which is remaining. Main uh, important point uh, while doing this technique is you have to identify all the stones, build the stones and carefully retrieve each and every stones without losing it in the peritoneal cavity. You can see the suction nozzle dissects a plane between the gallbladder and the surrounding structures. Here we are using a ultrasonic CS. You can see that it, likes, it looks like the cystic artery there. And very highly inflamed uh, cystic neck. So combination of sharp dissection and a blunt dissection helps in uh, identifying the gallbladder and dividing it, encircling it at one point. So once uh, you are uh, uh, aware of the remaining gallbladder uh, depth, then you can easily dissect the leftover gallbladder and you can very well go into the cystic neck and you can apply endolope to the cystic duct as such. 
So here you can see we are in the process of completing the circumferential division of the gallbladder. While dividing the posterior wall of the gallbladder, that is the wall which is adherent to the liver, you have to be very careful. You should not go deep into the liver parenchyma or you should not injure any structures which is running close to the gallbladder. And you can see the we are seeing the infundibulum. We are looking into the infundibulum. We just want to see what is the left uh, depth of the remaining infundibulum. And uh, very importantly, you should identify whether any stones which is impacted in the cystic neck, if there is any impacted stone that should be dislodged and removed. So we will start as subtotal cholecystectomy and gradually we will move close to the infundibulum cystic duct junction and uh, invariably we end up in a total cholecystectomy. So we have applied on loop already and this is the second endo loop which is applied nicely and the residual uh, infundibulum is trimmed off and all the specimens will be removed carefully. In the sort of uh, gangrenous galver most of the time the cystic artery will be thrombosed and this hormonic scalpel is very useful in dealing with these cases. And once uh, the cystic duct is uh, ligated then we move towards the separation of the gallbladder from the liver bed. This is we are using the active blade of the ultrasonic shears to separate it from the liver bed. We are using it like a spatula. So open the instrument and use the vibrating blade to separate the gallbladder from the liver. The posterior wall is the wall which is adherent to the liver is sloughed off and carefully dissecting it away from the liver. Sometimes there will be abscess between the gallbladder and the liver bed. So if there is any abscess that should be drained and you have to give thorough wash to the cavity which is remaining. Even in these difficult cases, we will be able to find a good plane and you can easily separate the gallbladder without any bleeding. So you can see the remaining steps are similar to the tough standard laparoscopic cholecystectomy with intact gallbladder traction and the, we are not losing the cranial traction of the gallbladder and once the gallbladder is separated the specimen can be removed by uh, putting into an endo bag or sometimes we slice the specimen into multiple longitudinal pieces and we will be extracting it through the 10 mm port without contaminating the port. So we are at the uh, last stage of the dissection and most of the gallbladder has been separated out from the liver bed and only few attachments are remaining. So you can appreciate there is no undue bleeding from the liver bed and we are keeping the gallbladder close to the gallbladder fossa and we are using a scissor in order to slice it longitudinally into multiple pieces. While doing this, assistant surgeon is helping by grasping the gallbladder and all these things should be done in the operated, operative field only. You should not keep the gallbladder on the omotum and do all these steps. And all the specimens are re retrieved carefully and all the leftover stones should be retrieved by using a stone holding forceps and then you have to go for a final wash. 
so we are retrieving all the stones and uh, now we are giving the final wash before placing the drainage tubes and this is a 24 size drainage tube which is kept close to the cystic duct thank you very much